Thanks, Will. A paperwork error has allowed me to be in the kitchen this morning, and I couldn't be more excited because Chef Andrew Capella from Sarto is here. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Nice How to you have doing? you with us. Yeah, Thanks I'm well. Me. This morning, this fine gentleman will be preparing Get Ready, a spring vegetable sacchetti pasta. Sounds good. Yeah, Did tasty. I pronounce it correctly? Absolutely. You got it right. <laughs> discussing before we went on, but all kidding aside, Andrew, take us through some of the ingredients you'll be working with. Uh, yeah, so here is our, uh, here's the pasta, sacchetti. Uh, it means beggar's purse in Italian. It is a cheese-filled pasta. Um, we have some English peas, asparagus, snap peas, uh, brown butter, sage, pea puree. And then we garnish it off with uh, some toasted almonds and some uh, Pecorino Romano cheese. Love the way those ingredients are just popping right there off the screen. Talk about the preparation process for this, Andrew. If someone hasn't attempted this type of pasta at home, you can kind of simplify it for us right here this morning, can't uh, you? Yeah, it's uh, very, very simple and easy to put together. Uh, you want to start off by toasting the garlic. Uh, you want to do that at a low temperature so you don't burn it. Uh, you really want to release the flavors from the garlic into the oil. Uh, once that gets a little color on it, we add the vegetables in, kind of heat them through. Uh, it's important to pre-blanch your vegetables. That way you're not trying to cook them in the pan and, uh, you know, just, um, you know, elongating the process of cooking. Uh, while that's going on, you want to drop the pasta and some you know, very hot water boiling rapidly. Uh, it'll take about five minutes to cook. And then um, once that's done, you wanna drain it off, toss in some of the pea puree, maybe a little bit of the pasta water to kind of smooth it out, toss all together and then, uh, <laughs> Once you put it in the plate, you're ready to eat it. That's it. If you like me, you can just bypass the <laughs> entire process of just coming to Sarto. Yeah. <laughs> well, where are you located for those who are unfamiliar? Uh, we're on 100 Doran Street, right downtown. It's right across the street from the Johnson Wales Library. Uh, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it's a great spot, and we will learn all about it, even more about it, if you will, as the morning rolls on here today. Andrew, great to have you with us. Good to be Don't here. Don't want to miss the preparation of this pasta. It's going to be fantastic. Back to you. Well, we want to thank oprovidence.com once again for bringing in Chef Andrew from Sarto as we head back into the kitchen with him now, making up a delicious spring pasta dish. So Ketty is on the menu, and it looks like little, little pouches, yep. a little, little gift bag. <laughs> yeah, it actually translates <laughs> to a uh, beggar's purse. Okay. And uh, it's stuffed with uh, ricotta cheese, parmesan, uh, mozzarella, and a uh, mm. little, uh, I can't remember the last one, but uh, yeah, four cheeses. It's cheese and it's yeah. delicious. <laughs> and if you're serving it at dinner, you just say, just eat it. <laughs> this is what, di what dinner is. It looks so good. Yeah. So bring us up to speed here. A nice, bright, vibrant color. Yeah, so I, uh, I toasted the garlic off, added the, uh, added the vegetables, mm -hmm. cooked the pasta. And then uh, once that's all in the pan, I add this uh, brown butter sage pea puree. It adds a nice nuttiness to the dish, a little herbaceousness. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of toss it up, get it all incorporated. Don't want to splash you here. Oh, that's yeah. quite all right. I expect it in the kitchen. And I, uh, oh, sorry. Add so a little pasta the, water. Sorry. Yeah, for the, add a little the pasta water to uh, thin out the puree a little bit, kind of get it all incorporated. Okay. So if it's a little thicker than expected, that's a nice little yeah. trick. A couple spoonfuls there is all you need. And, and nice veggies that are in season. Yep. We will uh, we'll be switching some things around come summer. You know, maybe throw some green beans in here. Yeah. Maybe some uh, summer squash, zucchini, but definitely like the green color. And, uh, yeah. It looks so good. So that's about that. And when you make that fresh pasta, it cooked that much faster too. I, I noticed them float to the top. So similar to like a ravioli or a tortellini when you yeah. see them float, you know, they're done. That's about, that's about right where we want it. Everything's nice and coated. Okay. And then uh, we move it over to the plate. And as you start to plate, can you remind us of your location? Uh, we are located on Doran Street. Uh, it's mm -hmm. right across the street from the Johnson Wales Library. It's a great spot right there. And you are doing um, something fun on outside as oh, yeah. well. Yep. Tis, we, the, tis the season to yeah. dine outside or drink. We just started our uh, Spritz on the Sidewalk program uh, earlier this week. Um, you know, you can get some nice refreshing drinks from the classic Aperol Spritz, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Camp Campari Spritz, and then you can add some, uh, we have some fun additions to it, like peach liqueur, elderflower liqueur. Yeah, I love this. It, different additions, it's talking about raspberry, peach, elderflower, like you mentioned, Cointreau, like there's a, there's a lot of cool, even a section that says creative alternatives. So no matter what you're looking for, I think that's great. And to know that you uh, can enjoy this Outside, everyone loves some alfresco dining yeah. this time of year. It's definitely patio drinking weather, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Or it's getting there, at least. 
And eating too. So what have you topped that with? So we finish it off with a little Pecorino Romano mm -hmm. and some uh, toasted almonds. Really, you know, accentuate the nightness and the brown butter. And then, you know, mm -hmm. add a little more cheese. Everyone likes some Everyone cheese likes on cheese. the pasta, yeah. right? So For sure. So this is currently on the menu. Yep. It might change slightly if, if we visit you later on, you yep. know, but just incorporating fresh veggies. Yep. We're, uh, we're really big on seasonality. Okay. And, um, you know, that's... We're going to be getting some nice heirloom tomatoes in very soon, some corn, eggplant, zucchini, things nice. like that. And you know, we're very committed to using local ingredients. Uh, actually, just went to the Hope Street Farmer's Market for the first time the other day, and great. I liked what I saw. <laughs> so I'll be going back there every Saturday, hopefully, and uh, good. grab some really good stuff. Uh, so do the wheels start turning when you know the change of the seasons and you know these veggies that are coming into play? Are you starting to brainstorm oh, already? Always. Yeah. Wheels are always turning. That must be nice. <laughs> a little trial and error. Yeah. Do, or, do you have a position open for taste tester that you need to fill? Yeah. <laughs> that must be half the fun, yeah. though, right? You try things out and you see what works yeah, absolutely. Doesn't. pleasantly surprised sometimes so here's right. the uh that is the finished, yeah, dish. The finished dish. Look at that. It is so bright and vibrant. It looks fantastic. Make sure you head on over to our website in order to get that recipe. That is roadshow.com. Check out and enjoy.